Question one. You had an important and heavily guarded secret role at London 2012. How did it feel to light the cauldron? You know what? That's honestly one of the best things I've ever achieved and accomplished. And it's just kind of fueled my enthusiasm and motivation to obviously go to the Olympics, which I've done that, and just kind of be the best athlete that I can be. Question number two. How much did it inspire you in your athletics career? It really, really inspired me just to be there as a young athlete who hadn't even gone to an Olympics yet and to have such a major role. It made me just think, you know what, let me keep hard working hard and one day I actually may make it. <laughs> Question number three. Did you feel additional pressure as one of the ones to watch or were you motivated regardless? I would say that I was motivated regardless, but it really, really did help to have the support of such an amazing icon such as Daley Thompson. And so, yeah, that motivated me just to believe in myself. Question number four. Where is the Olympic torch that you had from that night? That Olympic torch is kept in a very quiet and disclosed place as it means a lot to me and I wouldn't want anything to happen to it. Question number five. You had the second leg in that Olympic final. What were you saying and thinking once you released the baton? At first, of course I was saying, come on, let's go. And once I released the baton, if anything, I just kind of held my breath because it felt like a surreal moment. And once I saw the girl cross the line in third place and that reassured that we had just won an Olympic medal, I actually cried. <laughs> Question number six. How important is the camaraderie within the relay group? It's extremely important. It kind of feels like a sisterhood. You know, you're with these girls day in and day out, and you all have the one common goal to come away with an Olympic medal. So it's extremely important to feel like you can trust them. And we just have that trust. Question number seven. That bronze in 2016 for the 4x100 meter women was the first medal in that event for 32 years. Did that bring added pressure or did you know you could achieve your goals? You know, we didn't realize that we had just broken a record in, until after the relay. For us, it was just a personal goal to work as a team and to come away with a medal was an added bonus. So to realize that we had achieved a medal that hadn't been had in so many years, it was extremely special and we were just focusing on our performance. Question number eight. You've suffered from knee issues for a number of years, including at Rio. How has that been a challenge as an athlete? You know, any athlete can tell you injuries are the, the worst thing ever. But what's most important is that you remain calm and always remember that this is a sport that you enjoy and that you love. And any kind of injury, you can overcome it as long as you have a great team around you. Right guys, I think I'm all warmed up. Let's get running. Question nine, relay or individual event? Relay. Question 10, beach or pool? Beach. Question 11, heels or handbags? Handbags. Question 12, carbs or protein? <laughs> Always protein. Question 13, who is the toughest competitor you've ever faced? I believe her name was a girl called Makina Lewis. I was nine years old and she refused to let me win any race that I had competed against her in. All right, let's go. Okay, question 14, how much training do you do in a week? For me, I train approximately 20 hours during the week, so that's five hours each session. That's for me. Question 15, where do I keep my Olympic medal? I keep my Olympic medal at home with my mom, as that's the person that I know that I can trust to keep everything like that important and safe. Question 16, if you could have played any other sport professionally, what would that be? Me, I would choose gymnastics. Not only does it look amazing, it's something that I'm not very good at right now, so I would definitely want to perfect it. Question 17, who was your sporting inspiration growing up? That has to be the American female sprinter, Alison Felix. Question 18, if you could be in any reality TV program, what would it be? You know what? I would be an I'm a celebrity because they've got gross bugs. 
and I actually want to try them. <laughs> Question 19. You're a mummy to a dashend. How many funny outfits does he have? He has about 15, probably more outfits than me. <laughs> and finally, do you have any sporting superstitions? Well, as you see, I like to decorate my nails. So for every competition, I have to make sure that my nails are blue. Right guys, as you see, I'm off to the beach. Bye.